it's also the hungary and bullying that will cut you off from all your family will cut you off from all your friends will throw you out like some lone wolf will declare will de you don't toe the line and we will cut off your nearest and dearest and your loved ones you lost your beautiful wife a girl who loved you deeply um and uh, we all watched her on cnn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have any comment at all to make on beautiful kathy and and, and your love affair you know i have never said a bad word about kathy and i never will I, she uh, she went on uh, uh anderson cooper 360 because she had to mm -hmm. that they were drilled and drilled and drilled and remember she Every was there with, <laughs> she was there with Jenny DeVocht who is one of the most sociopathic of Miss Gavage's yes. followers she is a mean bitch yes and she was there and I am sure coaching all of the women you know they were coached because they were all saying the same thing and I had to leave my wife we in fact, uh, we never even discussed it. She was presented with divorce papers. She signed them. I was presented with them. I signed them. And we haven't spoken since. He paid for the divorce. He knew exactly what was happening. This is astonishing. He is a liar to the core. That is so not what happened. Yes, I was married to Jeff Hawkins during the entire time of these allegations that he said apparently happened. I was, you know, we were very close, obviously, we were married. He used to tell me about everything he did, the meetings he went to, etc. He never mentioned one thing. To the contrary, he mentioned to me how much Mr. David Miscavige supported him, how much he believed in him. At the end base, you never talk about this stuff. Uh, yeah. and, and nobody knows yeah. that uh, Miscavige is beating people, unless they've actually been at the meetings. They don't know this, and nobody tells them. The first thing that I did was I contacted them and said, okay, I'm done, I'm gone, I'm in Virginia, please come and join me, and the answer was, F you, literally. No, well, absolutely I did not at all disconnect from him. He was never told that. I said, no, I'm, I'm not going to drop everything I've had for my entire life and what I believe in and what Mike believed in. David Miscavige, the leader of Scientology, creeping up behind you and strangling you. Did that happen? Absolutely. It happened more Why? than once. He's a very volatile personality. He will lash out for uncalled for reasons. Mike Rinder, Mr. Miscavige never laid a hand on Mike Rinder. I lived with Mike Rinder for over 35 years. I know every square inch of Mike Rinder's body. I know everything that's ever happened to him, every accident, every time he broke his wrist. I, I've been with him. We've been together all our lives. It's utterly ridiculous, and it isn't true. Did you, did you have any friends that you could confide in? You Anybody? Can't conf I couldn't. I never told my husband. We were married for four and a half years, and I never told him once that I was unhappy, and he never knew that I was unhappy. Why? Why? What were you afraid he would do? He would have to report it immediately. He'd have to report what I told him. Any friends, he'd have to report what I told him. But we personally know. I mean, I slept with Tom DeVock for almost 20 years. I knew every inch of him. If he ever complained about something, if he had a headache, if he had a backache, he had me rub his feet at night. I mean, I was his wife. I never saw one scratch. I never saw one bruise. I never saw one black eye, nothing. Nor did he complain about anything personally. And he would have told me because any, anything that would happen, <laughs> I would know about. And besides that, that's not the character of Mr. David Miscavige. 15 years. I know the man better than anybody else. Now, you gotta understand, Marty Rathbun is a liar. Okay. When he left, he's alleging that when he left in 2004, it was because he witnessed Mr. Miscavige beating somebody up or whatever. As right after he left, I'm the first person he called. He called me right away. And it never came up. He never mentioned it. Okay. It was in, 
It was isolated incidents. It wasn't... Well, this is an isolated incident. This is a consistent, virulent uh, physical harassment. Yeah, you're... That, we understand what you're saying, yeah. and here's the, the fact. No, what, what I'm saying is that you, 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 you were married to a man who, for three years, had a, was a high-ranking member of this church who was assaulting people, and... and and Mr. Nothing Miscavige, Mr. Miscavige was not at the, at the property at the time. Do you not have telephones? So they were for hours and hours. They're being coached to say this and say that and say that. And she gets up in front of the cameras. I, I'm sure she would have been freaked out. And she said what she had to say. And uh, I know, and I can't tell you how, but I know that she was very, very upset by that experience. Mm -hmm. Um, as any decent person would be.